Now, before we get started, I just want to dedicate this series to Mikey Soda, aka the voice of Seth and Flowey, for creating a Skype group to everybody a part of the With Voices cast, though, allowing for us, though, to grow closer as a community and even start a couple friendships. Thank you very much, man. I owe a lot of good memories to you. All right, let me see. Um... Hello, everyone. Intro. <laughs> <laughs> intro that's our intro what's our intro 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 yes intro it's our intro our int- the intro to the introduction so this is actually a prologue if you actually <laughs> think about it okay let's see um hmm well technically if this is a video we're making for teach's channel doesn't that technically mean we have access to his channel that that means we could just take it over uh... if we wanted to Right? Well, <laughs> take it right? over. I... It's just it's just small little clips of like one of us just laughing and we just post one every day. <laughs> just just, yeah, just something like that though, and one of us just makes a video saying, Hey guys, how's it going? Wow, isn't it great that I have a channel with over one thousand subscribers and a cast of people I get to say whatever I want? It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Let's make this channel profitable. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Screw the copyright thing. We own all the footage we serve. <laughs> we own all this stuff. In fact, we don't even pay our employees, though. We're going to save as much money as we can. <laughs> Hello, I am Teach, and I am a dictator. Oh. I recently came from Russia. Is that, is so, that your... what are we going to do to, today? Okay, I should, okay, enough goofing off. This is the intro, I guess, though. I don't know. I'll think it's something crazy well anyway hello guys welcome welcome to this new show that hopefully may may or may not be a recurrence though though from the looks of it i think once a month is probably the best we're gonna get anyway in this little series though this is a um i guess to give you a little background this is a idea i proposed to teach a couple months back though um oh i guess we should probably introduce ourselves though before anybody's thinking okay who the hell are these people why should we care about them um i guess i'll let you guys go ahead my feelings are hurt. <laughs> you are the person who apparently gets hurt a lot. That that's that's what we will know you for the rest of this call. But uh, anyway, um, cries. Do you want? Do you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves? Uh, Mint, you go on ahead. Um. <laughs> Okay, I guess I, sh- I guess I should introduce oh. myself. This, I guess I should introduce myself. I'm sorry. Anyway, hello, I'm Mr. Game Guy. I do a, I do a couple voices for Teaches with Voices series, though. Quite frankly, I only play minor roles, and the most significant one I've really done is Henry the Flower. I am a recurring member of this little mm-hmm. community that we started, though. And well, just to give you a little background, a while back I suggested the idea of maybe um, recording some let's plays or pl- gameplay footage, though, for the channel, though, just to keep some, just to keep you guys um, whole. Just, I also, by the way, I can't talk. Just to hold you guys <laughs> over, though, while Teach works on everything else, though, because as of now, Teach is the only one really working on the videos, though, and well, he can only do so much as one guy. So I figured, hey, you would. I got all this free time that I'm not using for anything good. Might as well do something with it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, uh, Mr. Molly, how about you uh, introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Matti. I go with the moniker Hidden Stick Actor. On uh, Blue Raspberry, I do voice of voice acting and things like you may know me as Matt Dummy or Guest or, but. Uh, yeah, I do some other voice acting stuff in somewhere else as well, and I do video game reviews, mystery game box where I pick up random games. Go watch it! <laughs> um... Link in the description below. <laughs> Free advertising. There you go. I guess that's all you need to know right now. All right. Uh, how about you, Mentho? Do you have anything to say about yourself? Uh, <laughs> hello everyone. I'm Mint Monster VA or Mansaba for short. I am. I've been everywhere recently. Here on Blue Raps today, I um, am the voices of like 
Autumn of the Sprites and other people that exist. <laughs> so, so basically nobody important. Okay, no, no, no. But no. <laughs> I'm nobody important. I'm just here that exists. You don't, you don't have any major roles in here. You just play one of the main three characters of Secret of Mana Theater. So <laughs> you know, just nothing significant, though. Nothing that really keeps this series going or anything like that. Yeah, but anyway. nothing important. But anyway, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Continue on. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. That's that's That pretty much wraps it up. <laughs> All right, are you sure? Is there anything else you want to go on about? Um... No, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, that'll work. By the way, I'm though, just here. <laughs> we have not rehearsed this at all, though. We're all doing this completely <laughs> on the fly. There are no scripts in front of us whatsoever, though. So, there you go. So sorry, we sound. Well, these cr- footage will be heavily edited. <laughs> <laughs> there heavily, you go. heavily, heavily edited. <laughs> oh god. Based on a true story, though heavily edited for dramatic effect. But otherwise, it's 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 the same basic routine. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, what what podcast is scripted? Oh uh, well, if, do... if, we're, if we're being perfectly honest, I don't think there's any or not a lot, anyways, of of podcasts that are actually scripted. True, true. You you make a decent point, though. I do hear that some people do take notes, though, and uh. Well, to be fair, I did kind of present this idea on the fly, though. I didn't say, hey, guys, okay, so I'm going to start this whole series, by the way, and you guys need to be prepared, though. So take a bunch of notes, what you need to say, though, and uh, we're going to let this thing go at a fluid thing. No, I just I just came up with this idea on the fly. I just told everybody that you just need to show up and that I would do all the work. And right now yeah. I've shown that I am doing a pretty bad job at it, even though it's literally the first time I'm doing it. But who cares? I should probably stop beating myself up, but oh well. Yeah. You're doing good so far, dude. Okay. So today we are talking about a video game called, uh, what was it? Nightmare of the Snow. Yes, today we Oh, we're... yeah. So yes, today we are going to be um, watching some, well, technically, the, I guess not really playing, though, but watching some footage I recorded of Nightmare of the Snow, though. Basically, if you guys are familiar with the channel Brain Scratch Commentaries, where it's sort of a half Let's Play, half podcast, where somebody pre-records the footage, they post it for everyone to watch, and then they just talk over it. That's basically what we're doing. I know. Very unoriginal. <laughs> so anyway... It's fine. So I think we were going to be doing it on this game called Nightmare of the Snow. It is a freeware RPG maker horror game, just like, well, if you're familiar with teach, with Blue Raspity, you should be at least somewhat familiar with some RPG maker games. So <laughs> if not, what are you doing? Get out of here. Okay, no. I'm very bad at jokes, by the way, though, so feel free to feel free to leave your comments below how terrible I am. No, don't do that. You're doing fine. You're okay. doing fine. I'll, I'll stop <laughs> rambling. Anyway, we should probably get on to the footage. Oh, I'm actually already on the footage. Okay, Whoops. I um, posted a uh, playlist below, though, and right now I have about an hour and 40 minutes worth of footage, though, so hopefully it should be good enough. Okay, you guys ready? Nightmare of the Snow. Oh! Is this the horror oh, game? Oh, okay. It is a horror game. I remember this game. I watched... Um, Oh, I forgot his name. I'll have you edit it in later, <laughs> game guy. But I watched um I watched this person do a let's play of it and it's very spooky, but also very interesting game. It had a very nice ending. Was his uh was his username by the name of Flair Blitzy? No, it was like <sighs> I know it has something to do with Manly. I can't remember though. Oh, I know what you're talking uh. about. Um, Manly Badass Gaming? Yeah, there you go. Manly uh, Badass Hero. I think that's what his username is. Yeah, it's like Manly Badass something along those lines. I'll have please, to look him up and then send it to you. Please go look him up, Be though. Be sure to we, edit it in. Please go look him up, though. We are not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> okay, we should probably get to the footage, Great though. Great channel. Great channel. So, yes, this is an RPG Maker <laughs> horror game. We are very... And that's what we're going to do. A pretty obscure one, though. So I feel that this would be a good a good place to start off, though, with a lesser-known game, though. And at least in my mm-hmm. opinion, there's not too much visual flair that goes on behind it, though. So it's I figured this would be a nice way to go on with it. Anyway, I'll, I'll shut up, though. I'm rambling. <laughs> 
Okay, so well, on... that... oh, go ahead. That's what podcasts are, my dude. Ramble for as long as you want. There you go. Um, anything? Anybody have anything else to say before we start? Mm. Um, <laughs> I have started. You are far behind me, children. <laughs> I say, despite being the youngest all this... person. Sorry, what'd you guys say? Does this game footage have the whole game? Or just uh, part of it? No, it doesn't. It has only... I. Th- I think it has only um, uh, 15% of the actual game. I know I did not get mm-hmm. enough footage down, but I didn't want to, you know, like get the whole game and tell everybody, okay, sit down though. We're going to go for the entire game right there because this game is actually somewhat <laughs> decently length. Like it's around, I think five to six hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I doubt you guys want to go through Good that. Oh, <laughs> want to go through all that in one sitting. Anyway, we should, we should get started. <laughs> We're rambling. All right. So, yeah. On one, two, three, go, we'll all click play, all right? Okay. So three, go. So, no, um, at one, right. two, three, and then after three, I'll yell go, and that's when we'll all click, all right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, go. Wow. <laughs> by the way, this game has been brought to you by Enterbrain, if you do not know that. I feel like Enterbrain has done a few other games, a few other RPG games, or am I mistaken? I is it? Do they only work on this one? I, I if, as far or... as I'm aware, I think they're the company that sponsors the engine, so I think that's what the whole spiel is. Oh dear, I forgot how loud that you was. Know, if, you, if you get a game called the Nightmare of the Snow, it's. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, could you repeat that? And I can stand this either. Room for the maximum. I play the game however I want. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell. You you don't get to tell me what to do. Game. You're just a game. Game. <laughs> you You're love not my, my mom. mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. It's pretty fitting all <laughs> things considered. <laughs> like, excuse, pardon me, though, for wanting to play the game how I wanted to, though. You're not... What do you mean this game could possibly <laughs> cause seizures? I don't care. I'm playing this at the max volume. <laughs> oh, dear. What if I don't want any headphones in? Game. What are you going to do about it? Well, <laughs> don't play this game at night from when everyone's sleeping, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, Chapter Zero of <laughs> The Calling... <laughs> Story by I I'm terrible at reading names. Uh, <laughs> Hi Hayati Surji, I think I said that wrong. What? I don't know. I'm on the top left though, it said the uh, creator of the game's name, but oh well. Uh, I must have missed it. <laughs> ah well, the text was pretty small. Yep. Okay, mom. So you recorded this footage, right? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. Why? Why did you go back and forth multiple times from the closet to the bed? <laughs> Were you trying to throw the closet? Were you trying to interact with the bed? Were you trying to do both and cause a seizure to the viewers? Uh, a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of the latter. Right now, I was trying to take the wardrobe. And I was trying to throw it on the bed, but I wasn't taking the whole wardrobe. I was actually planning on taking a part one by one, screw by screw, pallet by pallet, and throwing it on the bed. I see. Because you see, I was in the mood for some s'mores that night, though. I really wanted to have some roasted marshmallows. So I figure, hey, I think I'll put, I think I'll build a campfire right on top of the bed. And this joke <laughs> is making no sense whatsoever. Are you hiding marshmallows? Is the game hiding marshmallows in that wardrobe? <laughs> I, I guess so. Is that so. what you're suggesting? I, I guess so, though. I mean, we never we never do see what's inside that wardrobe. For all we know, it could be filled to the brim with marshmallows. Spoilers. <laughs> and that you we're can just... later use white <laughs> and we can And we're secretly preparing for a camping trip. That's all we're doing. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> mm. Very obvious menu sound. Bum, 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 bum. 
<laughs> yes, I get a kick out of this game's sound design, though. It's very over. It's very poppy, over dramatic, though, and it keeps you interested, in mm. my opinion. Yeah, that's true. My father is always worrying about my safety. I I didn't get to read that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's another recurring habit, though. I never leave enough time for the. <laughs> for the viewers to ever actually read the dialogue without having to pause it, but oh well. You jerk. <laughs> yes, how inconsiderate of me. You you inconsiderate bum! <laughs> Wait, Autumn, I didn't uh, know you were here. Fer 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 oh, what sorry. farewell party was this? Was it for the end of high school or is she moving? Or... Oh, this is the... At it's the end like... Oh, go ahead, uh, I believe they graduated recently, and they're like having a little party. Oh. Yeah, this is for the end of uh, junior high. Mm, so, yeah. So middle school, which is kind of odd, all things considered. Though I never got a farewell party at the end of middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I wake at six thirty a.m. Six. Oh yeah, that is right. She's wait. I gotta say though, how. Old... How many people do you know wake up that early? I mean, I used to wake up at two. Wait, two? Two in the morning. <laughs> two in the morning. Wait, how many? How much? How many hours of sleep would you get? Uh, usually four or five. Four, four or five? Yeah. <laughs> Dear me! Wait, do you, do you have sugar running through your veins or something like that though? Because I don't know how. <laughs> no. I... <laughs> What's up with this meat? music i do not know um to give you a little clarification though i'm actually editing the part out though with the sorry, i'm editing this point with the guitar right now because it's really loud in the footage though mm, yeah. so i so i lowered down the volume yeah. though it's very loud when you play the original game yep yep but to answer your question i have no idea what's going with the it's guitar like the it's like the guy can and can't play guitar at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying... The, the person who's playing the guitar is like trying to cover up the fact that he can't play very well by playing louder. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I maybe if I play louder, I, it'll be it'll sound better to everyone. It's like that, uh, oh, shoot, that clip from Spongebob. Let's play so loud that everybody can hear us. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Something like that. Father's Katana. It was made by using Tama Hangaji. <laughs> Sorry, what? Sorry, if it wasn't also clear by this to to you viewers though, we're all recording this though off of a off of Discord though, so there's a one second delay and we tend to talk over each other though, which I apologize to everyone here. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. Wait, he just gives uh, her underage daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, he does. I don't, I don't get that either, though. Apparently, I, that's what some people do, though, in order to ensure protection to their kids. I, I <laughs> wait. What did he give her? Just give them pepper spray. Oh, pepper spray. <laughs> yeah, he w he was offering to give her. His katana of all things. I'm thinking. I, I can understand, you know, giving her pepper spray or maybe a taser or something like that. But a katana. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, you do you. <laughs> True, I guess. Though, wait, uh, man, didn't you say that one time though? Uh, you had to bring something. You had to bring um. Uh, you had to bring a tool or something though, because you went to a bad neighborhood. Or am I mistaken? Because I? I, I mean, because I, I I have a mini baseball bat made of wood, and I have a plastic sword covered in fake blood. Yeah, it was. Um, I think you said you had to bring a baseball one, a, a baseball bat one time on the bus. But I could be wrong. D did I? <laughs> I? I think so, though. But I don't know. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Maybe it was somebody else on something like that. Oh well. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's it's not... an interesting story. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not completely. Hey unheard. guys, 
Uh, hey guys, I brought my die. Mini, I brought my wooden baseball bat on the bus because there was a brat and I wanted to murder them. Oh. That's that's quite hardcore to say the least. Uh, but I'm sorry. Is I this her boyfriend or or BF? Oh no, uh, they're kind of like they're kind of just like best friends. But at the same time, from what I can remember, they sort of have like romantic feelings towards each other. He's he's her friend. That's friends a boy. <laughs> to put it into perspective, friends with benefits. <laughs> friends with benefits. <laughs> sure, sure, we'll go I mean, with that. I mean, hey, they have Japanese-sounding names, and we all know about the consent in Japan. So oh. yeah, friends with benefits indeed. Oh dear, well, I'm not fully aware yeah, of that stuff. supposed to be 17 or 8? Uh, they're 15. I remember that. They're both or 15. They're young. Yeah, they're young. Also, I like how it's snowing outside, though, but yeah, there's a pool. They're supposed to be young, but we're not going to stay there just to keep us out of trouble. Sorry, what? I'm sorry, my hearing is really bad. Could you repeat that, uh, Mr. Molly? Oh, I was just a... Big a talk of I don't know, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important, don't worry about it. It's just an old man rambling. Oh well. By the way, you can't dash in this section, so that's why I'm walking everywhere. Oh. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I like how there's a pool out there filled with water in the winter right now when it's snowing. Oh. Are the waves moving or something? Like, is it going wish wish? Yeah, it's a little hard to see, though, but oh well. I mean, you can't see it now, but oh well. Oh well. Hey, Yuki Chan, when good was morning. This made? <laughs> when Yuki was this? Chan, Ohio Guzaimas. <laughs> Ohio, good morning. <laughs> um, when, when was this made? I believe 2015. It's only a few years ago. Are you doing some research on it so far? I also find I also find it a little confusing that it has convenience store written on there, but this is supposedly taking place in Japan. Yep. I mean, I, I do hear that is a recurring theme in some places in Japan, that they will have um, English characters, though, but oh well. Well, I mean, foreigners, of course. Ah, oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, if this was Japanese, it would... It would be ready to store you. <laughs> or something. Hello? Oh, I'm still there, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we are all intensely yeah. focusing on summoning demon energy. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I'm sorry, there was a cutscene going on, though, but I guess to be fair, there wasn't much going on. I guess she found a cat. She's trying <laughs> to find the cat. <laughs> well, actually, okay, okay. This is... I remember finding this a really dumb aspect, cause like, the friend, Taiga, he was all like, hey, the cat stole my phone. <laughs> How? 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 <laughs> How? How did the cat steal your phone? Well, Buddy, I, I, pal, I, I guess it amigo. Is, I guess it is possible, all things considered. Oh, oh, by the by the way though, there's something about this. Um, let's see, I'm fine. This is Mr. Yamato. I don't know how to say that. He's a Yakuza, but he's not a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a criminal, but he's not a bad guy. Oh, sure. Yeah, he's like a Sin City character, where there are only bad guys and a, even l and th at that less bad guys. <laughs> you have your bad guys, and then you have your bad bad guys. <laughs> there you go. You basically nailed I'm it down. Are you gonna say He's your friendly neighborhood bad guy. <laughs> but 
But uh, to answer your question, uh, Mentho, I mean, I guess I can see how an animal, how a cat can steal his phone, though. But my question is, why? Exactly. Maybe Clock swallowed it. <laughs> okay. It was it was a tiny phone. Yeah, it was they a... say, yeah, they say that one of the worst things to happen to horror stories is invention of the cell phones because uh, pe writers have to make up stupid reasons why they are not working. <laughs> there you That's go. True. They're out of a. They're either in a place that has no cell phone service, or they're or they lost their phone. It breaks. It's had a battery. Just something like some plot convenience. Yep. Because everyone knows if you had a cell phone, everyone would immediately start calling for help. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's... I mean, it's not an instant win option, though, like some people think it is, though, but still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, like, in, in this game, like, in this scenario, there could be, um, like, a blizzard going on, and no one can go to the rescue right away. Yeah. So, it's not an instant win. It's like, hey, we got help, but shoot, now we we gotta we gotta wait, cause cause no one can make it. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with that plethora. I mean, I don't think it entirely makes horror stories impossible to write, though. But it definitely adds an extra strain to it. Mm -hmm. Ah, found you. <laughs> I also love though how. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Mr. Cat, could you please return that phone, okay? I guess she knows Cat. <laughs> Reverting. This kind of reminds me of that uh, scene from Undertale when the um, when the, um, um so see when the dog steals uh Torio's cell phone, and you, <laughs> you can repeatedly call it and hear this the dog's journey with it. <laughs> Oh, she's 50. Oh, yep. Yeah. They're young. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think Taiga's like a year or two older than her. I think uh, so. Isn't the high school supposed to end at 18? Yeah, it is. They, they graduated from junior high, from middle school. Oh, junior high, alright. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing maybe they must have been born at a later point, though, or maybe they skipped out on it later, because... As far as I'm aware, most middle schoolers, though, are around 13 to 14. Oh, but... wait, the horror stuff is starting to happen. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, this is a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> the curse will be completed soon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, um, you guys are watching this from the playlist, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, that's good, though. Then we can just let the playlist automatically play. We don't need to sync up or anything or anything like that. Well, I mean, so far as you know, what if what if someone accesses it early or? Yeah, but yeah, yeah but I meant we could just <laughs> let the, we could just let the videos continue on playing though, and we don't have to like sync it up though, like with another one, two, three, go or anything like that. Mm. Have I mentioned I'm really bad? I when suppose it... that's true. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's freezing here. Maybe even colder than the mountains during winter. Oh, now it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before... Oh, now. It, was, it was just a light breeze. Now it's getting bad. <laughs> I, I believe she's, like... I think she's in her uniform. So, like, she's wearing, like, a skirt, and it's snowing out. And she's like, ah, I can handle this. I can handle this snow with my skirt. Now <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm the just breeze, like... Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't mind me. Yeah, she's wearing a school uniform. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could understand she's going to her farewell party, but you think she would wear something a bit more casual? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta wear my school uniform because, hey, memories. I I, I did stuff in this uniform. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's going to be a lasting impression on me, that's for sure. Yep. Gasp, it's so dark in here. Uh, hello? Is anyone inside? It looks like the mansion has been abandoned for years. Oh, we are war acting now. <laughs> well, you, I don't know, I just do that. I, I guess you can do it, though. I mean, you know, just do it, just do whatever you want, I guess. 
<laughs> okay, good. Now I can finally kill someone. I mean, <laughs> what? Don't feel obligated like you have to follow a set of rules or anything like that. And don't make it seem like I, there's a set of rules you gotta follow. <laughs> <laughs> there are no rules. <laughs> oh dear, though. I, I'm sorry. I'm such a worry wart, though, but I always have to take every detail into consideration when doing something like this. Well, I mean, you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, going back oh, to the... Of course, there's no seeing all in a hell dimension. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going back to the subject about cell phones... Oh, by the way... Well, a... I mean, okay, so she's in a hell mansion, but she's also in the middle of a snowstorm, so... Those are two factors. <laughs> that too, though. Huh? This is made from ice. Oh, goody, look at that face by the side. Uh... <laughs> A uh, uh, Sorry, what? <laughs> Why did you go so away? <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. Good job. That was, yeah, that was holy balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was really. That was top notch. Holy crap. I have shivered. There were no special effects to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. That may be... Wrong place! That's I'm really... sorry. That's it. This place is only a... the only available place here. I, I can't even compare. I'm... I'm just a victim of circumstances. <laughs> Young girl. <laughs> I don't care. Go. Is he gone now? Ooh, ooh, ah. I don't know. Maybe we should ask him. Hey, Mr. Demon Soul, are you gone? <laughs> I mean, you sure do like to talk a lot, a lot. I guess so. <laughs> there you go. That's a perfect description, though, for how I've been acting throughout this entire call. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. Oh, uh, we're ending. It's part walkthrough, part drama. Our parody and all kinds of awesome. So what are you waiting for? Let's get this show on the road.